Estate planning is important no matter where you live because you want to make sure that your hard-earned assets are passed on to the heirs that you want to receive them in the proportions that you want to receive them. If you don't do estate planning, then your estate's going to be passed on to your heirs in accordance with the default rules in the country in which you are resident or the country in which your assets are located. Uh, and the UAE here, the United Arab Emirates, where I live, is absolutely no different. Here we have the, Shari the Muslim Sharia religious law that governs how estates are supposed to be divided up. And those rules are very different from the rules that most Europeans and Americans and Australians are used to. And many of them mistakenly believe that when they move here to the United Arab Emirates and they have bank accounts or own property and things like this, that if they die, the assets are going to be passed on according to the rules of their home country. That's not the case. The assets get passed along in accordance with Sharia law, which may not be the way an expat would like their estate divvied up because they're used to a different system. So in order to fix this problem, a few years ago, the UAE implemented the ability for expats to create wills so they can dispose of their estate the way they want to dispose of it. Now the issue with the wills are they're complicated to get drafted, you have to make sure that they're registered, but probably the biggest problem is that in order to get the assets to pass to your heirs, a court needs to get involved, review the will, and then order the different uh, assets to be passed on to your heirs. Well recently there's been a new solution to this that expats in the UAE should be aware of. RAC ICC, the Ras Al Khaimah International Corporate Center, created a foundation law. Now foundations, in Europeans will be very familiar with foundations, Americans and people from common law countries maybe not as much, but a foundation operates much like a trust except it's a separate legal incorporated entity. And basically there's a founder, the person that puts assets in the foundation, there's a foundation council, which are the people that control the assets in the foundation. There's a guardian who has the ability to remove and replace counselors uh, if they're not doing their jobs and administering the assets of the foundation properly. And then there's what's called qualified recipients, which are basically beneficiaries. So for example, somebody living in the UAE could put all of their assets in the UAE in a RAC ICC foundation, as the founder, they could also then be a council member and put their wife as a council member or trusted advisors as a council member and write into the foundation who they want the qualified beneficiaries to be, their kids for example, and how they want their estate divvied up. And they just put all their UAE assets in this foundation and a matter of fact they can even put their assets outside of the UAE in this foundation. It's a wonderful law, but if you live in the UAE if you're an expat and you haven't done any estate planning, you should definitely do so. RAC ICC foundations are a great way to accomplish it. We're registered RAC ICC registered agent. We can help you set up a foundation for your estate planning needs here in the UAE. Check us out at EsquireGroup.com to get started.